Where are we? We're at the castle. What castle? Shooty. Shuri Jo stands high above Naha as a symbol of the proud past and resilience of the Okinawan people. This castle has been around for centuries, but the main hall was burned and rebuilt four times before being destroyed in World War II. The mammoth stone walls and ornate wooden gates have been painstakingly rebuilt from old drawings and photos, and today you can get a good sense of what the castle was originally like. Just being here has made this man hungry for more castle knowledge. Or is he pregnant? Mm, I can't tell. Anyways, this is the largest castle in Okinawa, and it was the center of the Ryukyu government from 1429 to 1879, when the Japanese government took control of the Ryukyu Islands and renamed them Okinawa. The distinct architecture gives clues about the history of the islands. The dragons on the roof of the castle are one example of how China was a much bigger influence on Okinawa than Japan. Most of the castle grounds are free to the public and you only need to pay to go into the main hall and courtyard. There is a peaceful garden to walk through called the Kiono Uchi, which is considered the most sacred place on the castle grounds. Shuri sits on high ground and you can get some great views of Naha from atop the castle walls. This building contains a stage where you can view traditional dances that were once performed for the royal court. Outside the castle walls, there are other important sites, such as the Shuremon Gate, the Stone Gate of Sonohyan Utaki, and the Beizai Tendo Shrine, which features the world's saddest security officer. I ain't got no friends. Shuri Castle is one of the most visited places in Okinawa, and I recommend you head there in your travels. It is both an impressive sight to see and a good place to learn about the long, proud history of Okinawa. Up next, we explore the gardens of Shikina and don't forget to head to straycompass.com for more videos. Thanks for watching. I'm James Knott. Goodbye.